To the modern ear, this next method of starting World War II aircraft sounds just nuts. There's no need for batteries, motors, or flywheels. All you need is a big shotgun type shell and the device it fits into. When the pilot pushes the button, the shell fires and produces high pressure gases that pushes a piston and spins the engine through a splined or grooved shaft. These were used in the civilian world by some farm tractors and many American military aircraft and tanks with radial engines had the system. The Kaufman system was the most common and so the thing is most often called a Kaufman starter, even if it was made by another company. The main disadvantage was that you needed one shell per start attempt, and of course, if you ran out of cartridges, well, that was bad. But hold up, I said before that big engines couldn't be hand cranked, but you've seen videos of ground guys turning huge props of B-17s and Corsairs and whatever. What are they doing? Next video.